Welcome to Minnesota Military Radio. I'm your host, Tom Lyons. United States Coast Guard Auxiliary's overarching mission is to contribute to the safety and security of our citizens' ports and waterways, and their primary mission is to is for recreational boater safety. Joining me now from the uh, United States Coast Guard Auxiliary is Neil McMillan, Bob Hines, and Steve Jones. Gentlemen, welcome to Minnesota Military Radio. Pleasure being here. Pleasure, Tom. Thanks for having us. Neil, I want to start with you. Can you tell me, uh, I've, I'm, I was in the Air Force, and uh, we've had all kinds of folks on the show, and we've had the Coast Guard on the show, but Coast Guard Auxiliary, can you explain to me who you are and what you do? Certainly, uh, Tom. It's a volunteer organization that was founded in 1939 uh, prior to World War II, and it currently has about 30,000 members of which our primary mission is, as you mentioned, uh, boating safety and uh, pat- patrolling the waterways in place of the active duty Coast Guard. And Bob, to uh, help with boater safety, do you do you teach classes? What do you what is it you do to help educate the public? Sure, Tom. We have uh, public education classes, uh, various uh, lengths, uh, where we try to give the public a, a good understanding of uh, boating safety, so when they're out in the water, they're they're not going to have an accident. So do you do you teach these courses for children, adults, everybody? Uh, we teach children and adults. And where can we where can we find the courses, and how often are they held? These courses are typically held in the winter time, and uh, you can go to the uh, Facebook pages uh, to see when these courses are going to be held. And we'll have some links to the uh, United States Coast Guard Auxiliary pages on our website. Steve, can you tell me how does the Coast Guard Auxiliary interact with the the Coast Guard and and the other branches of the service? Well, we our job really is a support mission uh, to to help and serve and support the U.S. Coast Guard, and they they define our missions, those missions that we are are there to serve for. So along with public safety and uh, and public education, uh, people like Neil here and and, uh, Commodore Hines have uh, taken other missions to marine safety regarding pollutions, uh, larger passenger vessel inspections and that sort of thing. So we we have quite a few missions and just never enough time and not enough people. So we're always looking for interested people that are willing to serve as a volunteer uniform volunteer for the Coast Guard Auxiliary. Steve, can you explain the four cornerstones, what they are and what they entail? I'm going to turn that over to, to uh, Bob Hines, seeing he's got the most experience. He can give the, uh, the the best definition for those four cornerstones. Good public affairs officer. Just pass that one <laughs> off to you, Bob. <laughs> he should. I should pass this on to our uh, one HR officer here, but uh, uh, we have uh, four cornerstones, uh, operations, public education, uh, vessel safety check program, and fellowship. So, and how many members do you have? Uh, here locally, we have 140. Nationwide, it's about 32,000. Now, as if you're a, a volunteer, United States Coast Guard Auxiliary, can you can you also are you eligible to join the Coast Guard and or the Reserve? Uh, if you're a member of the auxiliary uh, and you meet the requirements, you s- sure can uh, join the uh, active duty or the Reserve. Neil, can you tell me a little bit about the organizational structure of the United States Coast Guard Auxiliary? How how does that how are you organized? Is it national? Is this a state unit? Uh, how's that all put together? Certainly, Tom. They have the Coast Guard Auxiliary has a uh, a national organization and a district organization, and then it goes down to divisions and flotillas. And the national organization oversees, uh, as it applies, over all of the 50 states, including Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. Uh, We are part of the 8th District Coast Guard, which is headquartered in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. And that's where the sector lower is. We have sector upper Mississippi is in St. Louis. And the the 8th Western Rivers District, which we're comprised of here in the Twin Cities, covers 16 states primarily the the middle part of the country and everything around the Missouri and Mississippi rivers. And are you pretty busy here in Minnesota? We are. In the summertime, we're very busy with uh, doing patrols. We augment the active duty because of funding constraints. The auxiliary is called upon to do some missions that we can't do any law enforcement or legal assistance, but we can go out, as Steve mentioned, do commercial uh, fishing vessels, uh, six-pack operators who do guide 
guide boats. Uh, we do that kind of inspections. So there's a lot of different areas that we can help the active duty as volunteers. I'm going to have to get back out on the, I haven't had a boat for 20 years. I'm going to have to get back out on the lakes and rivers. And all I can remember is seeing an occasional uh, sheriff out there, but I don't think I've ever seen the Coast Guard Auxiliary. You'll yeah. have to take a boating class. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably fail that, Bob, but maybe I'll take a ride in a boat with you guys. Steve, how active are you on the on the river? Well, when I started with the auxiliary, the um, uh, and Bob Hines is a, a, a major component of that of my joining was, uh, I felt there was a great opportunity for me uh, to provide community service in something that I enjoy, and uh, when I uh, kind of upgraded my jet skis to to a large houseboat, I figured it was time to uh, educate myself on proper boating and safety for on the river, and then I joined. And I tell you what, it's that that involvement in boating safety operations uh, has grown my interest in the auxiliary to now I'm I'm doing public affairs and and other missions within the auxiliary. We have a lot of jobs and they'll never all get done, but we have to find people with the passion and the heart to do them. We're speaking with Neil McMillan, Bob Hines, and Steve Jones from the United States Coast Guard and Auxiliary on Minnesota Military Radio. Bob, how many hours do volunteers put in? Well, that varies on how much you want to contribute. Uh, there are some members that uh, will put in a considerable number of hours and uh, those that put in the minimum number of hours, but it's up to the individual as to how many hours they want to spend. Neil, where do you, what, what's the background of your, of your members? Are they just boating enthusiasts, or where do they come from, and why, are they, why do they want to volunteer? Well, we have a lot of people that are retired military that have joined. Uh, we have a lot of folks that are, are, have no military background but want to contribute something to their country. Uh, We have educators, lawyers, people that have boating skills, people that are communicators. So we do use two-way radio communications considerably. And so there's a lot of folks, the uh, very diverse backgrounds, uh, can join the auxiliary and participate and help us out. So uh, do you have a, a website? Where can our listeners go for more information? Maybe we put that over to the public affairs officer. Steve? Well, our most active uh, uh, communication to the public is our division Facebook page, which is uh, facebook.com forward slash C-G-A-U-X Twin Cities. And if, some, if one of our listeners is interested in volunteering and becoming a member of the uh, Coast Guard Auxiliary, is there information on that website for them? Yes, there is, or they can contact me directly, and I'll forward them to the correct person for processing and that is uh, c-g-a-u-x steve jones at gmail.com and we'll have links to that and uh steve uh when you have jobs to do and things to do do you post a list and people volunteer to do it how's that work well a lot of times we have to twist a few arms you know we try to convince people it's their mission and their duty and uh so it's it's a great group of people because they're all they're all committed, some to different levels, but we try to bring them all up to the same speed, and we have a great time doing it. And it, like I say, it's it's a great group of people, guys, gals of all ages, and we enjoy being with them. Neil and Bob, he looks like he's your arm twister to me. He is. He is. That's on, that's on your your list of duties, gentlemen. When we come back, we want to talk about uh, some uh, Coast Guard boot camp for kids. But right now we have to take a short break. We've been speaking with Neil McMillan, Bob Hines, and Steve Jones from the United States Coast Guard Auxiliary on Minnesota Military Radio. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. 